The title collector is here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing in at 250 pounds, the 24-7 champion, King the Dominator. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest money in the bank winner in WWE history. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. This guy has everything going for him. Amazing physique, endless charisma, a surefire future main eventer. The future has become the now, Cole. Austin Theory is already primed for the main event in WWE. Saxton, get out of the way. You can't be in this selfie. And the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Well, I'm not going to lie. I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump. But their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. But let's not forget about Theory. The guy who defines confidence the second he walks from backstage. There is confidence, and there is confidence, Corey. Pretty sure for as much as Theory has the former, he manages to overcompensate with the latter. It's the reason why he's such a target here in WWE. Strikes with a kick. Oof. As the wrist trapped, how humiliating, just kicks to the face. Playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in ring talent, especially for his age. But Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. Now you've actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. Uh-oh. Cross face. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career longevity, self-preservation. Tap out and fight again. And rolls him off. starting to pile up. Placed into the corner. Fury nails the clothesline in the corner. Check this out. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Digging deep. Kick out. Really had 
less than a second to stay alive there. Uh-oh. What a cross body! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and moving. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. They still do a lot of damage, though. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Slides him back to the mat. Yeah. Here you're looking for a win in the now. Oh, oh, and here. Can Theory put it away here? For the win. Two. Oh, a hard time believing that one. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Still got more left in the tank. He thinks he has it. He breaks the ref's count before two. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Will that keep Fury grounded? Now let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, King the Dominator. An important victory for him in this match. You can tell this guy was fired up from the moment the bell rang. He definitely had the motivational advantage in this match.